So this, uh, this little tip actually helped me save a ton of time, a ton of energy, and uh, honestly, like a lot of mess ups, uh, selling final expense at first. So that, and I, I just want to share with, share this with you guys, this one little question that will help you save a ton of time for you guys. So you know exactly what product to put your client in, because you probably can relate. You get to the end of the application, you actually go into the uh, place where you're um, in the banking information and uh, they're like, oh, I have a direct express card. I actually don't have a bank account. And you wrote a policy with, uh, with the, uh, with a carrier that only takes direct express or you wrote, uh, you wrote it with a, a policy that, uh, that actually only takes bank accounts and the, the client does not have a bank account. They actually have a direct express card. So if you guys don't know what a direct express card is, um, here is, uh, what it actually is. So, um, if you guys are new to life insurance industry, here is, uh, just something to know. So it's like this little green direct express card right here. Um, this is, uh, th these clients are living on government assistance, right? So they can't actually, they don't have enough money to be able to, uh, put in an actual bank account. And so this is just a lower end client. Uh, and we actually stop taking direct express card unless they can get approved with prosperity because it's true social security billing. Um, but direct express card are just not great clients overall. And so, uh, it's important to be able to know, okay, do they have a direct express card or they have a, a bank account? So this is actually our script. Uh, that we use in, inside the uh, my coaching program and community uh, where we help life insurance agents scale past 20000 a month. And so here's part of the intro, blah, blah, blah. If you haven't already, check out down below. Uh, this is the full script breakdown. But um, really, uh, this, this question um, comes in super handy to be able to actually save yourself a ton of of time and it's it's this one right so after you go through the medical underwriting you're seeing exact you tell them exactly uh it's based on age as well as health uh i just need to ask a few basic questions just see what you qualify for and uh really like going deeper into this really saying okay and just see if you qualify for the best plan you do have an active check account uh you have, do have an active checking account correct and you like nod your head while you do this the reason why this is important and why we ask this right here is so that we can actually underwrite carriers that will take um uh bank bank accounts but also confirming with them and making sure that they do have an active bank account and also um and asking the question very assumptively because some people might have a direct express card they they only want to give you that compared to giving them a bank account because what's going to happen is uh sometimes they do have an active bank account but they don't want to auto drafting in that account and so we do want to make sure we have active bank accounts because what happens is one, the persistency is way better with a bank account. Number two, um, the client will, or the, the carrier will actually know, um, or they, the, a lot of the, the best carriers are going to only take bank accounts. And so you're seeing this trend a lot more with the final expense companies is that they are doing this. Um, they are cracking down on this, this simple thing like, hey, they're, they're only taking uh, bank accounts. So it's super important to ask this question early on so you don't waste a ton of time. This is where you can figure out, okay, do they have an active checking account or savings account? And that's part of the, the qualification process uh, as well because obviously you're going to underwrite them. You're going to figure out exactly what they can qualify for. You're going to ask them a ton of questions um, of what they, they can and can and, and what their medical conditions look like. But this is just something that we use um, as a, a community and in, in part of my coaching program that I actually help a ton of people with. Because what I was seeing is that I would get to the end of the application and they couldn't qualify for that plan. And so I was like, there's got to be a way that in the beginning I can understand that I can overcome that right away. And if I don't, if, if you're in that situation where you're not taking any direct express card, you're just speaking up for yourself and um, uh, you're able to get that out of the way early. Uh, and also this will allow you to, this is kind of a, an assumptive close as well. Like, Hey, um, understanding like you already, you're getting more information as you go. So, uh, use this tip and use this question to be able to help you make more sales as a life insurance agent, uh, especially a final expense agent, because you're going to probably be dealing with a lot more final expense clients. Uh, if that's the case. So hope this video helps you guys. If you haven't already subscribed right now to the channel, share this with a friend who found it valuable. Drop in the comments down below if you have any questions regarding uh, direct express cards versus bank accounts. And um, I'll be happy to help. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.